everybody. A uh, long time no see. Uh, so, I got a few things, you know, for the Jeep. Uh, my blinker actually shuts off after I turn now. Uh, I got a few uh, new speakers. Basically, uh, the, the speakers in the sound bar were like old uh, 90s pieces of crap <laughs> so uh, they they work a lot better now uh, got a few other things but mainly you know I just wanted to touch on a subject we have the man that's been missing for five days now he's been missing for five days his uh, his girlfriend reported him missing and her friend but not his wife. He has been fighting like crazy with his wife and he left his wife's house or his house to go live with his girlfriend for a while. So now, you know, that's all. Like that right there is just the guy goes missing and the first thing that that, have, that you tell somebody is he's been fighting with his wife so he went and moved in with his girlfriend and nobody's questioning anything. Uh, the girlfriend uh, misses him and she's up on Facebook every day asking if people have seen him but the wife does not care. Uh, that's super suspicious for me. And then uh, then you uh, look at the deal with his uh, being missing so basically he went missing and they said oh he was he was last seen or he was live streaming at a place called that they call the Narrows well when you ask them where the Narrows is they just say it's the Narrows everybody knows where it is it's the Narrows there's no place called the Narrows but they just the the friend kept saying listen I've been up for five days trying to, to help find him and he went missing at the Narrows well I asked for an actual you know GPS type location so you know I could help search you know I'm helpful I want to help search I don't want to you know be that the odd duck out I want to help it's in my nature well, she gets all offensive and gets pissed off at me, sit, telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you're you're being rude. Just to take take the information and, and figure it out on your own. It's like okay, if you really really did miss somebody and you were really really worried about them, you'd give out as much information as possible. You wouldn't hold anything back. This lady, on the other hand, she's only giving out a small location. Well, after a long time of pissing her off like crazy, asking questions of where was he last seen, what was he wearing, stuff like that, stuff that they don't even have listed, uh, she finally broke it down and she's like, well, he went missing at this location. Well, she pointed it out on a, on a uh, Google Maps and when you actually look at that location it is roughly a mile and a half away from 95 well a mile and a half away from 95 it's a small area uh, it's easy it should be easy to find him and then she goes well no that was his last GPS location of his phone and that's where he was he was streaming from but he said he called and said that he ran out of gas and he 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 was looking for uh, he was gonna walk and find a gas station so he can get some gas so he can get his ATV home and then she goes well his ATV was found at this location and she pulls it up on Google Maps that location is 17 miles away in a canyon 17 miles away in a canyon complete other side of town far away so this guy went missing his last GPS coordinates put him around 
95, the highway, right near a park, right near, you know, old folks home and gated communities and shit. But his ATV was found 17 miles away out of gas in a canyon. And he was just recently fighting with his wife because he moved out of the house in and li started living with his girlfriend because him and his wife were arguing. It makes no sense. The people, there's only, there's only like two people that are actually trying to find him and they won't even give good information or accurate information as to where he was and what he was wearing. It's, it makes no sense. I mean, if somebody goes missing, like if, if you're, if your kid goes missing, you're going to give every bit of information. You're not going to argue with anybody. You're not going to get mad at anybody for asking questions. You're going to give every bit of information you can because somebody will help. You're not going to post a flyer on Facebook and then anybody asking questions, you give them a vague ass area and then yell at them for asking anything to follow up. I mean, it's it seriously screams you know, conspiracy, like, and, like, I'm not into the conspiracy nut thing, but, I mean, you got, your husband goes missing because he's cheating on you, and he's now moved in with his girlfriend, and then you refuse to talk to the police, I mean, that, that right there is insane, and, like, she, she gave off the weird-ass names for places that don't even exist. <coughs> and then she's like, well, these people know exactly where it is. And it's like, yeah, they know where it is because they're your friends. If you and, if you and your friends have made up a, a nickname for a place, then yes, of course, you and your friends would know the name of that place and where what you're talking about, but nobody else will. And it pisses me off that there's people out there <laughs> that are like, oh, we need you to help us find our friend, but we're not going to tell you where to look. This is bullshit. It, it, I mean, how many times, how many people have gone missing and somebody's like well they went missing and uh, last time I saw them they were next to uh, that uh, big rock near that one thing next to the guy who does the stuff and then everybody goes oh yeah I know where that is no that's not how it works like it's not how it works at all I mean you give information you tell them you show maps I mean it took me it took me like eight hours digging through Facebook to even find any information and then I brought it up to the lady and she got pissed off at me and told me to, to fuck off if I'm not going to uh, give money or help. It, means, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to say, yeah, he was uh, at this place called the Narrows and his phone was there last and that's where he was live streaming. And that's where he ran out of gas, and then tell me that his ATV was found up in the mountains. It makes no sense. Like, somebody please tell me, somebody please tell me that I'm not the only one that finds it suspicious that somebody can go missing in one spot, and everybody looking in one spot, but then they find his ATV 17 miles away in a mountain canyon. I'm, I mean, I can't be the only one that finds that suspicious. I can't be the only one that finds it suspicious that he goes missing the week after he had a huge argument with his wife and left her for his new girlfriend. <coughs> I can't be the only one.